Hi guys, it's Erin from the Provincial Farmhouse. Thanks for joining me. Today we're using the new IOD Christmas Valley Transfer to transform a plain bucket into a rustic tree bucket. I primed this bucket first with Dixie Bell's Slick Stick and then did two coats of Dixie Bell's Drop Cloth Chalk Mineral Paint. Next, I'm doing a coat of Dixie Bell's Satin Clear Coat. It's a good idea to put down a clear coat before you use your transfers. The beautiful Christmas Valley transfer from IOD is eight pages of beautiful Christmas designs. They're quite inspired by a mountain lodge sort of a theme. And I was just looking through deciding what elements I was going to pick out. There are so many beautiful greenery and birds. It was a little bit tricky to just pick one design. I decided on the Black Tail Inn design. Now this design was too large for the area that I wanted to place it on the bucket, so I knew I'd have to do a little bit of rearranging, but that is quite easy with these IOD designs to do. I'll save this little truck for another project. I laid the transfer down over the section where I was going to put it and planned out my design. I knew I'd have to separate the header from the reindeer and also the words below. So I'm cu cutting it out and separating it into sections. Once I worked out where I wanted my design to go, I prepared my transfer by taking the backing off and positioning it. I'm holding it just above my painted surface until I've decided you really don't want to press that down until you're sure because once it's down, you're committed. So now I'm using the transfer stick to rub and burnish the design on. I'm doing the whole thing to start off with so that I can get that design stuck down. And then I'm working from one side to the other, lifting up the plastic as I go. If there's any sections that you miss you just lay it back down and do a little bit more rubbing again and the design will come together This little deer was going over the top of some uneven surfaces and ridges so I was very careful to just take my time and rub my transfer and have it adhere in the different sections one part at a time. I decided to only use the real food and real fires section either side of the deer's head and I will save the other text for a later project. also decided to look through the wonderful transfer pad and find some greenery. I thought it could use a little bit of colour and I found these really cute little sprigs of pine I'm assuming they are and I thought that they would go beautifully either side of the deer with the text. I'm using a little bit of painter's tape to hold my design in place while I'm planning everything out. And once I'm happy with the design, I can remove the backing and get to work burnishing my design down.
repeated the same steps for burnishing the little greenery as well. decided to add two little pine cones on each side. transfers were down, I sealed the whole piece again with Dixie Belle's clear coat. Next I'm adding Dixie Belle's grunge glaze to the entire piece. The satin clear coat will ensure that I can wipe back where needed the glaze so that it doesn't get too heavy. bit of glaze on the inside of the bucket as well. Next I'm using Dixie Belle's chocolate chalk mineral paint with a brayer over the top of my vintage textures stamp. I'm using the distressed stamp first and I'm just going to apply it here and there lightly and anywhere that I don't like I can always wipe back because I have that satin clear coat as protection. using the Crackle Textures stamp. that I didn't like so I used a damp cloth to carefully wipe back and lessen the effect. added a little bit of gold around the edges and here and there using Dixie Belle's gold gilding wax. And he 
here's the finished product. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I love the Christmas Valley transfer. There's still many, so many designs for me to use. Let me know what you think of this project in the comments, guys, and maybe what you'd like to see a bit more of. I'd love it if you could hit that like button and if you would subscribe to my channel to get more wonderful ideas on how to use the new IOD range or furniture makeovers. If you are looking for any of these wonderful IOD products, we do stock them in our shop, www.theprovincialfarmhouse.com.au and uh, I hope that you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.